Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. It is Sunday and for me that means it's time to do my Italian homework. I go to Italian school on Mondays because while I find speaking Italian easy, speaking Italian well is very difficult because there's so many grammar rules to learn and know. So I'm trying to I'm trying to do better than speaking proper Italian. So um, I have a bit of homework to do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and start. And I'm on um, present tense, <laughs> irregular verbs. It's my my least favorite. <laughs> and I'm on exercise H. And this is using the morire verb. So it means I have to conjugate it and make it answer the following phrases correctly. So, non so di che morte devo morire. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know of what death uh, I'm going to die. Per ogni situazione inserish oh man already it's inserisci 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 l'espressione adatta morire di numero uno e agosto e sono novanta cinque Fahrenheit it's August and it is August and um, it is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So um, I guess I would say I'm dying of a heat. That means I have to take the word morire and conjugate it correctly according to the clues. So I'm going to start by making my conjugation chart. Okay. So, morire means to die. So let's see, there's io. Tu, lui, lei, um, noi, voi, loro, loro. Uh, and this is one of those words where the, the spelling changes. So it would be um, io, uh, io. Moyo. No, that's not right. I spelled that wrong. I think it's M U O I. That looks right. Yeah, I think that's right. And then I'm going to keep the first three letters and change this to Mori. So it's to Mori. To Mori. Lui, lei. Oh, what do they do? Lui le muore. Noi. I think. I think in noi you keep the R. Mm, oh, I don't know if it's right though. Moriamo. Voi. Oh. No, wait, I spelled this wrong. <laughs> Noi moriamo. Okay, that looks better. Um, voi, let's see, mm. morite, morate, no, no, morite, because it's an ire verb. Morite, loro, 
Ooh, Loro. Um, Loro Moyen, no, I think. No, Moyen. No, oh, Moyen, oh. Moyen, oh, that's what it is. Alright, that's my chart. Oh dang, I was right. I just double checked my work and I was right the first time. It is supposed to be Moriamo. Moriamo. See, this is why Italian can be can become difficult for me. <laughs> Cause uh there's so many so many little things you have to remember. Okay, so I've got my little chart and get my pencil. Yeah, so it says the first one E agosto e sono 95 Fahrenheit. It is August and it is 95 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's hot. So I would say. I am dying of heat. So, number is page, page 31. Exercise H. Number one, I'm dying, I'm dying of heat. Um. Mm. Moyo. Decaldo, I'm dying of heat. Okay, number two. Numero due. Sono le due di notte e oggi pomeriggio non abbiamo fatto un pisolino. It's two, two at night. So when they say, when Italians say like two di notte, they mean we would say two in the morning. So it's like early, late, late, late at night. And this afternoon, we, that's my clue there, we did not take a nap. So we are dying of tiredness. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, so it's abbiamo. So I need to use. Moriamo. So I would say Moriamo di uh, sleepiness. Sonno. Moriamo di sonno. 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 Okay. I'm I'm pretty sure I'm going to get comments about my pronunciation. <sighs> Go ahead, come at me. I know, I know, but I'll get better, I promise. Hey, numero tre. Non ho fatto colazione stamattina ed è quasi mezzo, mezzo, mezzo giorno. Um, I did not have breakfast this morning, and it's almost noon, so I'm hungry, so I would say, um, moyo di fame, moyo di Numero quattro. Ogni volta che guardo quel programma comico alla TV. Each time that I watch that comedy program on the TV, I die of laughter. So... Moyo D. I don't even know what's the word for laughter. Um, read, read. 
Read the race to love. Read the reasons. Reasons. I'm guessing. Isn't. Reasate. Moyo div. No, that's not right. Because this is plural. So this has to be plural. And this is plural feminine. So this little article here has to be plural feminine. Da. Dane. Moyo dali risate. Moyo di risate. Moyo dali risate. Um. Moyo dale resati sounds more right. Uh, we'll correct it in class. Oh, moving on. Numero cinque. I negozi sono chiusi e franca e concetta non hanno niente da fare. The stores are closed. And Franca and Conchetta have nothing to do. So they, loro, are dying from boredom. Loro needs to get a hobby. Loro, loro. Um, up here. Muyen, You know, D. Noya. Noya. Numero say. Siamo in pieno inverno e non hai il capoto. We are in the middle of winter and you don't have a coat. You are going, you are dying from the cold. Dove il tuo capoto? So tu muori, muori, tu muori. Muori di Fredo. Fre fri fri no, that's not right. I think there's two D's. Muore di freddo. Numero sette. Sono fuori di notte e sento passi dietro di me. I am outside at night and I felt that I feel something pass behind me. I am frightened. Um, io muoio di paura. Paura. Muoio di paura. Numero otto. I turisti passeggiano da un'ora sotto il sole di Napoli senza bere niente. The tourists, um, tourists walk around for an hour under a, the sun of Naples without anything to drink. So they are thirsty. And there, this is my clue. I turisti passeggiano. So it's loro. Loro. Muoiono. Um, Di thirst. They're dying of thirst. Okay. So, done with that exercise. And I gotta 
I go to the next one. Kunki e shi sabato sera. Finalmente e sabato sera gli studenti dell'università per stranieri escono con i loro amici italiani. Con yoga e il verbo uscire seguendo l'esempio. So, Mary e Jennifer uh, escono con Claudio, Natalie e Jennifer escono con Claudio, Mario e Billy esce con Lisa. E S E con Lisa uno tre tu eschi tu eschi no eschi it's eschi tu eschi con Giovanna e Carla Numero 4 Stephanie Stephanie esce con Franco Numero 5 Voi uscite 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 Voi uscite con Paola e Roberto numero sei io esco con Massimo Massimo numero sette François e Amir escono con Alba e Antonio Trinity esce con Martina Trinity esce con Martina Allora, nota culturale In Italia ci sono due università per studenti non italiani che desiderano desiderano I never put the accent on the right place. Desiderano imparare e perfezionare la conoscenza della lingua e della cultura italiana. L'Università per Stranieri di Siena e l'Università per Stranieri di Perugia. L'Università per Stranieri di Perugia è la più antica istituzione italiana nell'insegnamento dell'italiano come seconda lingua. In in Italy there are two universities for non-Italian students who want to learn and perfect their knowledge of the language and of the Italian culture. The University for Foreigners of Siena and the University for Foreigners of Perugia. The University for Foreigners of Perugia is the more older Italian institution for learning for the learning of Italian as a second language
Okay, the next page are the more irregular verbs stare and stare the verb stare to give and stare to live, stay, to be are conjugated alike io do tu dai lui lei da noi diamo voi date loro danno stare io sto tu stai lui lei sta noi stiamo voi state loro stanno notes the third person singular form of dare has an accent mark da this distinguishes it in writing from the proper pre pre from the preposition da from at the house of by both verbs have an n in the third person plural form cosa regalano gli amici a franca per suo compleanno per saperlo completa le frasi con la forma corretta del presente di dare um, what gifts did franca's friends give her give her for her birthday to know it complete the phrases with the correct form of the present with the present tense of dare to give il suo fidanza, fidanzato le da oh, where's that accent going this way her fiance gave her jewelry oh fa bene <laughs> Le sue, le sue amiche Francesca e Federica le danno le danno un sciale di seta silk shawl io le do un mazzo di fiori bouquet of flowers tu le dai un libro Paola le da un nuovo CD del suo cantante preferito Paola gives her a new CD of her favorite singer noi le Diamo un biglietti per il concerto. We, we give her tickets to a concert. I suoi genitori le danno un viaggio a Venezia, tutto incluso. Her parents give her a trip to Venice all inclusive voi le date i cioccolatini you guys give her little chocolates oh, my stomach's growling it's time for a snack adesso io mangio un snack I'll be back in a minute um, I've got two exercises left. Okay. Il weekend della famiglia Serafini. A casa Serafini fanno tutti qualcosa il fine settimana e non stanno mai con le mani in mano. Completa le seguenti frasi con il verbo dare e il sostantivo adatto. Utilizza la lista di espressioni qui sotto. Um, the weekend of the Serafini family. At the Serafini house, everyone does something on the weekend and they never stay, they never sit idly by. Complete the following phrases with the verb dare. 
and the um, correct phrase. Use the list of expressions that is below. Okay. So I've already numbered my workbook one to eight. Luigi Valcinima Loro Dobbiamo che vogliono vedere Luigi goes to the movies Loro Dano Un film They show a film that they wanted to see Loro Loro Claudia Blank per la sua amica Simona che si laurea e ha invitato tutti gli amici. Claudia, I'm going to say, okay, it's Claudia Blank. She blank for her friend Simona who, uh, who graduating, who is graduating and has invited all of her friends. So Claudia is going to throw a party. Claudia da una festa. Numero tre. Nono, nona Annalisa blank a Paola a cucinare per la festa perché Paola ha troppo da fare. Nona Annalisa blank to Paola to cook for the party because Paola has too much to do. So Nona Annalisa is going to give a hand to Paola. Nona Annalisa um, da una mano. Da una mano. Numero quattro. Roberto e nono video. Blank in macchina ai vicini che vanno al aeroporto. Roberto and granddad and video. They blank in a car to the neighbors who are going to the airport. No, Roberto e nono video. They give a ride in the car to the neighbors who want to go to the airport, so it's um, Roberto in un video, um, Dano, Dano un passaggio. Two G's, two S's, two G's. Numero cinque. A nono video non piacciono i gatti e il gatto dei vicini che miagola, <laughs> miagola tutto il giorno. The granddad of video does not like cats and the neighbor's cat meows all day. So he, um, he gives him, he is, he is a nuisance. So it would be he, the cat, he da, da noia. I forgot my accent mark on this one. Da. No N O I A or it could be fastidio. Numero sei. Valerio, il ragazzo di Claudia, studia tutto il weekend perché l'unity blank di filosofia. Valerio, the son of Claudia studies on weekend because Monday 
there's a philosophy exam, so it'll be da un ex exame, da un exame. Con tutto quello che devi studiare, Valerio Blank e impazzisce, oh impazzisce, impazzisce sicuramente. With all that he has to study, Valerio is something blank and is going crazy for show. Um, Valerio is losing his marbles so he da in numeri da da in numeri I don't know how I don't know what the accent goes on that word I'm sure somebody will tell me though <laughs> Numero otto. Le mamma è arrabbiata perché i bambini non le blank e fanno sempre quello che vogliono. Mamma is angry because the kids are not something to her blank and they are always doing what they want. Um, so they do not pay attention or listen and it's loro, so it's a dano, dano retta, or dano ascolta. Okay, um, my last section I have to do. and get a fresh page to write my answers on. So this is page 33. Exercise L. And that's numbered 1 through 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, Okay. Dove stanno? Where are they staying? Per sapere dove stanno gli amici e i parenti, completa le seguenti frasi con la forma corretta del verbo stare. Stare is to, to be or to stay, to live. It means a lot of things. And it's irregular. <laughs> okay. Uh, to know where the friends and the parents are staying, complete the following phrases with the correct form of the verb start. Okay. Numero uno. Oggi. Io non sto bene. Sto. Bene. Um. A casa. Today I am not well. I am at home. Numero due. Quando fa bello noi uh, stiamo al aperto. When it's good weather we stay um, out in the open. Stiamo. S T I A M O. Numero tre. Mio zio è triste perché suo figlio um, sta, sta lontano. My uncle is sad because his son is a, a, a long way away. Lontano. So it's. Um, 
so feeling stuck. Número 4 Oggi voi state in ufficio Today you are, you guys are staying in the office okay, State is T-A-T-E Numero cinque No Oggi blank in centro so, they're answering a question. So, if it's voi state, then it's. Oh no, oggi stiamo in centro. No, we are staying downtown. Numero 6. Tu stai in campagna questa settimana. You are in the country this week. And. Sì, uh, sto, st io sto con i miei cugini. Sto. Um, you are staying with your cousins? Uh, yes, I am staying with my cousins. Numero otto. Le scarpe che cerchi. It's a chess Le scarpe che cerchi. Nell'armadio. Le scarpe is plural, so the shoes that you are looking for are in the closet. The shoes. Wait, no. It's cherky, so it's two. No, wait, no, it's no, it's shoes. <laughs> we have to we have to go off of shoes, so it's loro. Le scarpe. Le scarpe che cer cerchi stanno. S T A N. Okay. Alright. That is my homework. And now I'm gonna go take a nap. I'm gonna go faccio and pizzolino.